Morning. Morning, everyone. Rio is on British soil. He's on bottom on the water soil. Gift shop and bought on the water. Morning. Morning, everyone. Oh, got my uh, clay suit on. Morning! I can't see any comments yet. Aww. It's been ages since we've been in Bolton on the water. It's got to be about four years, isn't it? Yeah, it has got to be. It's, it used to be one of our weekend go tos Yeah, I like Cotswolds. I do like little places in the Cotswolds. Morning, Cliff. Morning, Jimmy. We're good, thank you. Hope you are as well. Morning, Paul. Morning, Wayne. Morning, Dean. Morning, Mum. You're 20 minutes away from me. Oh, see, we're getting closer. We started in Spain, started moving up. Now we're even closer. <laughs> now we're just down the road. Morning, I had a Zoom meeting cancelled by my boss. I can now watch live. Result. Winning. Where is this? It's boarded on the water in the Cotswolds. Uh, so if you've never been to England, this is somewhere that you ought to come. This is somewhere that... Uh, it is picture book England. It is picture book England. It's picturesque. We've been telling Rio in the car, this is real England. This is what you think of. <laughs> uh, morning, Julie. Morning, Anne. Uh, yeah, let's go that way and cross. So yeah, this was one of the places where we said we're going to have to come. While we're uh, in England, we're going to have to come to Borton. <laughs> morning, Scott. Hope you're feeling less stressed today. I am. I've had my uh, rant yesterday and I'm feeling much better. Sometimes we have to get it off our chest, don't we? That's one of them rants. <laughs> Morning, Wendy. It is a bit chilly. It was starting to rain, but it is uh, it's held off. I'm going to see if Rio will actually go in the water in Borton, but I highly undoubt it. I think it'll be a bit too cold if uh, Rio will go in the water. Hi, you don't need a mask to walk about in the shops in the UK. Shops, public transport. I'm not taking the risk. This is a personal choice. This is a personal choice to wear a mask to get around in public. This person is so close to me that why would I not wear a mask? It's a personal thing. Yeah, you know, that's, that's okay. our thing. Um, you know, if people don't want to social distance, then in that case, I'll wear a mask. I can only control what I do myself. Can't wear, we can't control everyone else. But I don't want to talk about no, I don't either. So moving on, that's all we're going to say on that. Uh, lovely to see you all. And you Adele, hope you've all got a lovely, uh, lovely day planned or something that you're going to do today. Um, we're planning to go to Stratford as well uh, and take Rio. Hopefully get some pictures of him around uh, Borton and then some pictures of him in Stratford. And then we might stop um, by Bicester Village to do some shopping. <laughs> morning Angela, morning Lisa. Morning, I remember going there in my school days. I've been to Borton a few times. Uh, Alex, I don't, you hadn't been until you came with me, had you? No, I Yeah. Yeah, I do like the Cotswolds. So I said to Alex, we're going to have to go to the Cotswolds. And then we went quite a few times <laughs> before we moved. Uh, morning, Lauren Alex, it's a beautiful place. It's so, I love these little um, scone places and things, the bakeries. And there we are. Let's cross over. At that ice cream place yeah if you're gonna come to england i know a lot of you already live in england but if you've not already been or if you know a lot of you also watch outside of england so we've got a few from from belgium and america and things like that so if you haven't look at that mint ice cream oh no mint coffee mint ice cream is my favorite ice cream so yeah definitely come to boston the water it's the venice of the cotswolds <laughs> Morning to the three of you. Morning. I cycled through there a couple of weeks ago. It's a beautiful place. Lovely, isn't it, Mark? Morning. Lovely place. Enjoy. <laughs> Bet Rio is cold. You know what? We were saying it's not like he's even noticed that it's colder. So I think he might be a bit too cold to run into the water. There he is looking like he's attempting it. <laughs> um, that might change. Yeah, I think he's thinking about going in the water. Get everyone by the water. That's why we've... Uh, chosen to put the mask on that's just our personal choice i know it's not 
I know you don't have to by law, but you are supposed to social distance. And if people aren't, then I shall wear a mask. Um, morning, Susan. Morning, Irene. <laughs> Come to Liverpool. I was thinking about it, but I think it might just be a bit too far this time. But we may do. You never know. <laughs> we wear ours all the time. It's the best way, isn't it? It's the only way you can uh, keep yourself and others safe. It's very busy. Are people wearing masks? I'm not even going to comment on it because last time, yesterday when I commented, people were having a go at me saying all I do is talk about masks. So I'm just going to talk about how beautiful the Cotswolds is and know that I am taking care of myself because I've got mine. Can't control what the people are doing. <laughs> You've arrived. Enjoy your walk. Thank you. I love seeing the ducks in, uh, in the Cotswolds. The little nook. Rio is loving meeting all these dogs. <laughs> Rio's making lots of new friends. <laughs> it's true what you're saying to a tea. Oh, thank you. I love boards in the water. You must go to the museum if it's still there. You'll see Brum. We've been to see Brum quite a lot. We probably will go again today. Um, my dance teacher used to work on Brum, actually, which is quite cool. But yeah, I've had a few photos with Brum in my time. Look at that tea room that is where i'll be a tea room <laughs> i've missed a good cotswolds tea hi guys you parked up at last it was a nightmare yeah. parking wasn't it pa parking took a while a normal we... a normal parking spot that's completely full and then we got to another one and the queue to pay for the parking Ooh. madness and um we were stuck behind something cutting the grass weren't we yeah. and because alex's uh, wheel well driving steering wheel is on the opposite side he can't see round so we had a lorry in front of us and a grass cutter so we were just stuck behind it because we couldn't yeah 10 mile an hour for ages but we couldn't nip round because obviously alex can't see far enough and i couldn't see around the lorry so yeah we were stuck behind for ages <laughs> the water is freezing in that stream i know it so well it does look cold i don't i don't think i'll be getting in that's for sure <laughs> nice to see you in the Cotswolds. oh thanks jennifer my husband's birthday can you give him a shout out hi Adele's husband my nose is really flattened in this keeps dropping I need to get one of them things at the back I've got one on the other one but not on this one <laughs> you get any more shopping you'll need a lorry to take you home I, I did actually uh, order some stuff as well um, the other day <laughs> I do like shopping I don't have my nails done I don't have makeup done things like that I don't have my hair done I, I just I don't dye it or anything like that I go for a haircut every so often and it's 12 euros but I do like clothes. I don't even buy shoes that often. I've got a few pair of shoes that that I stick to, but I like buying clothes. Meant to be in the 30s tomorrow in England. Oh no, <laughs> tried to escape the heat. <laughs> Mint ice cream is the best ice cream. It absolutely is. You are 100% right, Claire. Mint ice cream is absolute mint. Here's his time. Oh, he's doing it. He's going in. <laughs> is that nice? Oh, yeah. bless him. Is that nice? Yeah, he'll still go in. Apparently, he's just a dog that likes water now. Go on, then, you're going in. Go and play with the ducks. Oh, bless him. Yeah, before this year, he would never have even attempted going in. Now it's like, sees water in. Is that nice? <laughs> Oh, now he's looking for stones again. Bless him. He's loved the water. Yeah, water. If there's water, he's there. His name's Gary. Happy birthday, Gary. Mask. Who am I adding? Oh, thank you for the people who sent stars. I can see I've got 150, but it's not telling me who. Have you had your lure pack on toast yet? I've not. Should I be doing that? Uh, more bad news today. Swiss have put 10 days quarantine on Spain and France. This is what I don't understand. If you're testing more people, you find more people that common sense. That's not good. So France as well. I did see that Spain was included and I thought well, that's okay because we're not there. Um, but France, we were thinking about stopping in France first. Yeah, we were. So might have to change that and not stop in France then if they've put a... a I'll have to have a look. Not good. 
it's lovely I was there last year it's a nice place isn't it and Rio's just digging for stones let's watch Rio a second while I catch up on comments your eye looks better today it is um yeah if you did if you saw my Instagram last night my eye went really uh gammy but yeah it's all right now I had something stuck in it and then I kept touching it and then it went red uh, but I used a tea bag and that's all good all good have you heard anything about the quarantine being lifted on Travel to Spain? I haven't heard anything about the quarantine being lifted. Um, I assumed it would be a two-week thing, so I guess maybe we might hear this weekend. Looks a nice met place. It is a nice place, a lovely place. Beautiful place, have a lovely day. Oh, thanks, Debbie, you too. Did you take any bread for the ducks? We haven't, we haven't take, brought any bread for the ducks. We have brought water for Rio, though. <laughs> Any fish and chip shops there? What are you getting for lunch? Uh, we've just had a McDonald's, so I don't know if we'll be having lunch, to be honest. Um, but I'm sure there are fish and chip places and stuff around here. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go, delicious ice cream. Hi, Lauren, Alex and Maria. I hope you're having a lovely time. I love water in the water. It's nice, isn't it? Hi guys, I'll be driving through Europe next week. How did you go on being international insurance? Can you let me know? Okay, so oh, this mask. Ice cream, ice cream, we ice cream. are Spanish ice cream. residents, so our insurance is completely different to any insurance that you might find if you're in the UK. So if you're in Spain and you have a bank account with BBVA, you can get BBVA international health insurance, uh, international travel insurance. So we had to put every country we were going in and then we paid per day. Um, and that's for like the whole of Europe and it includes the UK. Um, I don't know what it's like in, in the UK at the moment about finding travel insurance because uh, some countries are um, against the FCO travel advice. We are insured for every country, um, regardless of whether quarantine is added or not, because that's in our policy. Um, and I paid an extra one. So we've got like a premium travel insurance. So if you are looking for a travel insurance and you need to find one that one um, allows for if the FCO do put a travel ban on it or advise against it, I should say. Um, and you also need to make sure that it includes every country that you're going to go to. So that's how it is our insurance is with bbva because that's who we we bank with yeah. yeah let's go see more oh vanilla with coffee cream if you go to Bista Village, not far, there's a village called Launton. There's a lovely country with, with the Launton Arms, which I can definitely remember and drink his food, etc. Opens at 4pm. Might be biased, it's owned by my son. Ah, oh, that sounds really lovely, Rita. If we do go that way, we'll have to stop by. We live not far from Cotswold, a place called Hungerford, 30 minutes drive. Ah, oh, not far. Did you not have to quarantine? How long have you been back? No, we do not have to quarantine because we left uh, over three weeks ago, two weeks ago. So, um... Quarantine was implemented for Spain on the 26th of July, I believe it was. Um, and at this point we were in Italy. So no, we do not need to quarantine. Um, we spoke to the customs desk. We told them exactly which country we'd been to. So if anyone's watching now and wants to know, we arrived at the customs desk at the Euro tunnel. We had to fill in a passenger locator form. We had to tell them exactly what countries we'd been to. We had to tell them when we arrived at that country and when we left that country. Um, we also had to tell them where we had stayed in all them countries. Uh, and the man opened it up. I say man because he was a man. Um, the man opened up the passenger locator form and he said to us, what day did you go here? Blah, 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 blah. We told him, we told him when we left Spain and he said, there is no quarantine because you left the countries long before and all of those places you are allowed to travel to. If we'd have left Spain on the 27th of July um, and we'd have gone to Italy and blah, 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 then yes, we would have had to quarantine. But no, we do not have to quarantine. The UK Customs has told us we don't need to quarantine and told us to follow the rules and social distance like everyone else. But I can't say that everyone else is social distancing. So it looks like we're following the rules more than everyone else. There you go. So no, we did not need to quarantine. We visited last August. <laughs> Must be lovely to be back seeing family, but you're missing Benidorm. Mm, not really. <laughs> Not really missing Benidorm, to be honest. It's nice being there, but when it's your home, it's not really, uh, it's not like we're yearning to go back or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's nice being there. It's nice living there, but no, we're not missing it or anything like that. 
Enjoy your day, guys. It looks beautiful. Thank you, Claire. Thanks for the stars. I think it's because we live there and it's just I just know that once we get back, that's our holiday over. So I can't say that I'm like really, really missing it or anything like that. A bit like probably when you go on holiday and you probably think, oh, I know that sometimes people think that, oh, my holiday's ready now and I'm, I'm done. But I can just keep being on holiday. <laughs> I don't mind. Mint chop chip is the best. <laughs> Dogs don't feel the cold water, they love it. Rio used to hate water though, now he loves it. He's such a water baby. He really is. Belgium has also been added. Looks like we're not going to Switzerland, Alex. Probably not, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Just check, it's what I read this morning. I'll have to have a look, see what's on there. Um, but yeah, if we're not allowed, we're not allowed, we won't go, it's fine. Um, we'll, we'll just, even if we have to take the direct route back, it's fine. And um, that's the situation we're in. It's the situation we knew when we, we left that that might be what happens. And that's where I went to school. Oh, and now you can see it again. <laughs> morning, Jan. Morning, Geraldine. Double the elastic around your ears. Stop your mask from slipping. Oh, thank you. You cannot give ducks bread anymore. But that's what I thought. That's why we didn't bring any bread for the ducks because of what I heard. It, it's bad for their stomachs, but then I'm not sure. You could visit North Yorkshire, it's similar to the place where you're on now. North Yorkshire is further away than the Cotswold, it's quite close to us. Hi Lauren, hope you're well. Still no news on my trip to Benidorm. Wish Jet 2 would tell me it's all up in the air. Oh God, hope you find out soon, Chris. All up in the air, like planes. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Thanks, Andrea, and thanks for the stars. Thanks, you guys, doesn't mean very much. I did not know about how going about quitting shoulders. I'm driving to Benidorm. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you can, I guess it's all about just um, finding an insurance that will that will cover you. Um, like our insurance covers us if we did get COVID or, or anything like that, we are insured as well. And we're insured for baggage and things like that. So it is quite a hefty one, but I thought it was best to, to do that. One of my favourite places, visit often as my daughter lives nearby. Oh, it's a lovely place to be. It's a bit cold though. <laughs> I've got my uh, new fleecy play suit on. It's about five minutes from Vista. Ah, oh, so we might, just depends if we're ready to eat by then or ready for a drink. <laughs> five of us went out from me on drink yesterday. The bill was 55 when the government discount only came to 33 quid. Yeah, have you all been making use of the eat out to help out? We had a uh, discount at TGI's. Um, so we had, Instead of it being about 100 and something pound, it came to, I think it was 40, something like, no, 80. It was 40 for me now. Yeah. Went to be 120 and it was 80, which was good. Got a nice 40 quid discount. Must be packed there in a normal summer. Looks busy as it now. It is very packed here in the summer. Um, we've come quite a few. I don't think it's much different. Yeah, but I, yeah, like I said, I don't think it's actually that much different to what it's like now. It kind of just looks like a normal summer here. In case it helps, Lauren, the postcode is here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Take the ferry to Bilbao, then drive home, and then you can get a little cruise. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, we won't take the ferry. Uh, one, because I don't like ferries. <laughs> and two, um, we'd rather, even if we have to drive and not leave the hotel, we'd still rather do that. Uh, we'd still drive and stop in France. Are you staying with your parents? Yes, we are. The original Brum car is there. It is. It's just round here if it's still here. Uh, we'll go have a look. <laughs> what temperature is it? Um, I think it's about 19, isn't it? It's not, not warm. No, it's not, not hot today. Hi, you three. People need to stop questioning you and just enjoy your walk. We always knew it was going to happen. <laughs> but thanks, Gail. I agree. I don't, I, I don't understand why, if, if I was supposed to be doing something, considering I've been the one that people have been asking me for information, if I was supposed to have been doing something, I wouldn't be posting that I wasn't doing it. One, if I was going to do it, which I wouldn't, then I wouldn't post about it. <laughs> surely you would do it on the sly. Um, so if I was supposed to be quarantining, surely common sense would say that I would either hide it or beans people have been asking me and using my website for information surely then you'd know that i would be following the rules <laughs> i'm more likely to follow the rules of uk customs than what somebody questions me on facebook but i understand people are curious but 
people need to understand that there are absolutely thousands of cars coming into the UK every single day. And I mean that, thousands. Um, and that's from all over Europe. Um, and the only place at the moment that has to quarantine is Spain. So there are thousands of cars coming in. The Euro tunnel was absolutely rammed. And when I say rammed, I mean rammed that we were delayed. Um, and all of these cars coming in don't have to quarantine. So if you're coming from France, Germany, whatever, there were so many cars <laughs> that were coming in from all over Europe and they don't need to quarantine. The only place that needs to quarantine is Spain. So, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's the reality of it. It's not a case of that there's only people from England here or that everyone who comes from Europe needs to quarantine. <laughs> you really do not need to justify your actions. Good on you both. This is why we're getting rising cases. Thanks, Lisa. I mean, I, I know that we are more in the public eye and that people will question us, but that's the reality of it, that we left Spain long before quarantine happened. <laughs> Hi, guys. Got to leave now. Have a good day. Um, I've got to go to work. Oh, enjoy, Jimmy. Hope it goes well for you. Where are you? We're in Boards on the Water, which is in uh, Gloucestershire, isn't it? I think it's Gloucester, um, in the Cotswolds. So this is Borton on the Water. It's a very pretty place. It's like this kind of place where you are, uh, when you see a British postcard or an English postcard, you think, oh, that's what it's like. I know a lot of people come to London and are like, why does it not look like, why doesn't it look like that? <laughs> and people expect it to be like that, don't they? I get a lot, there's a lot of people that come from uh, day trips, don't they? Right, let's go see if we can see the Motor Museum and see if we can see, um, See if we can see um brum are you feeling safe or worried by your surroundings uh yes i was shocked yeah i'm okay yeah. I, I've, I've got used to what everyone else is doing yeah i'm just taking my own portion yeah agreed you can only look after yourself can't you? you can only do what you can do yourself can't control everybody else um i will say that there was more regulations in um other areas um as opposed to, to Britain, but you know, this is the rules of Britain and, and people are following what their rules are. Um, yeah. All I would say is that you can't blame another country for what's going on in your own country. That comes from everyone. They have an annual football match in that little stream river. Ah, oh, I did also see one year, they had like an annual duck race. Is that right? Yeah, we were here for that duck race and we watched all the uh, rubber ducks go down the stream and they were like racing them. So yeah, that was uh, <laughs> something we saw here. I don't know if it always happens, but yeah, that was it. Oh, look, there's Brum. There you go, you've seen him now. <laughs> See him in the museum. I don't know if we've got it. It used to be outside, didn't it? Is he not outside anymore? We'll just have to go. I thought he was outside. Ah. Yes, Gloucester, not far from God's country, Wales. Oh, catching up card payments only for the museum oh i want to go in and see brum i don't know if we can video and uh, the dog can't go in can i can't. Go. right let's see if we can do it i was on the euro tunnel last week and they weren't even checking the uk arrival i've been bulging where i work by had masks outdoors yeah, everyone is wearing masks outdoors um, in Europe. Um, I'm not sure um, about checking at UK arrival because they checked us. Thank you. <laughs> Hiya, can I have one please? Thank you. Is it contactless? Yes, it is. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, okay, that's fine. Thank you. Got a fine broom. Ah, look at them, isn't they cute? Hello to the fellow viewers. What does it cost to come in? Six fifty it is to come in. <laughs> oh, look at these little toy cars. I used to always play with toy cars, you know, when I was younger. Mainly because my brother played with them, so I played with them. <laughs> it's 
so there's hand sanitizer when you walk in so i use the hand sanitizer lauren you've made my day going in it's such fun childhood memory oh i'm glad that uh been able to take you in have a look great little museum oh there you go that shows some people go have you been paid to post this or whatever you've just seen that i am um, <laughs> paid for myself so yeah we always pay for ourselves to do bits i know some people get freebies and stuff and if we ever do i'll always tell you but yeah six pound fifty is to get in hope brum wakes up and says hi i hope i go the right way to see him exhibition continues this way i'll have to let alex go in afterwards he'll have to go in when uh when I'm done, <laughs> give Alex a look round and I'll keep hold of Rio. Oh, I'd love one of them. <laughs> Watch me get copyrighted for this song above. <laughs> I always love these. Look proper vintage. I always want a picture next to one. Now Alex is not here to take a picture. <laughs> Thank you for this. Oh, you're welcome, Leanne. Hope you enjoy it. I keep seeing them faces and thinking they're real. How lovely is this museum? Brum is cute. Enjoy your day. Take care. Oh, thanks, Laura. Look at these nice cars. <laughs> You'll never get Alex out there, be in there for ages. I know, I think I'd better get a tea while Alex is in here, won't I? I'm just like nipping through. Alex will be like looking at every single thing, taking pictures of every car. Oh, I'd love a car like that. <laughs> One of them like really old cars, vintage. Oh, it's raining now. Right, well, I'm going to wait here while they're. I feel like I'm in, um, what's that Disney movie? Cars. Oh, I should have known that, shouldn't I? I think they're all taking a picture with Brum, you know? <laughs> Brilliant. A shame to say I've never been. Oh, you ought to go, Anne. Anna, sorry, Anna. Looks a lovely place. Thanks, Anne. Is it, is it good to go? Still a bit of a queue. I'll wait here. Thank you. But being back at work, I've missed a lot of Lauren Alex's lives, so I'm happy I'm off today and caught this. Oh. I have a few like that, I'm ancient mind. <laughs> I love old things. All like vintage, but even vintage dresses, I love them. Museum looks amazing, slim to the one at Guadalajara. Yeah, you're right, it does, isn't it? You're right there. Is Mr. Bean's car there? I don't think so, is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably not. Steady, not vintage, classic. <laughs> Very true, classic, good word. <laughs> uh, this is the Motor Museum in um, Boston on the Water. That's its name, the Motor Museum. You can smell the air, smell the classic. <laughs> I always like them as well, they're always cute. Just seen my first car, it was the White Hillman. Ah, oh. few people around. I think everyone wants a picture with a broom. Vintage or 20s and 30s? Oh, well, you know, I was born in the 90s, so anything earlier than the 90s is vintage to me. <laughs> anything pre-1994, I call vintage. <laughs> I'm excited to see Brum. My kids used to love watching. Me too, I am excited too. It will be boys and their toys when Alex gets in there. It will. Yeah, I think he'll love seeing it. We're in the Motor Museum in Boston on the Water. Oh, I feel like I've got to be a bit quiet. Are you going to the tour in the UK now? You could do that visiting different things. No, we're not. Um, we've just come here for the day. Um, I don't know if we'll go to many other places in the UK while we're here. Um, but no, we won't be going to many places. Look at that, isn't that nice? When we went to Cuenca, they had two vintage cars. I say vintage because it did say vintage. Um, two vintage cars outside their cathedral or castle. And they look really nice. There's a picture of it on my Instagram, um, Spain with Lauren, if you wanted to have a look at them. And I got a picture of Rio and Alex with them as well, which was nice. <laughs> I 
I must be extra vintage. <laughs> what or who is Brum? Um, Brum is a car that used to be on um, like a kids TV program that used to drive around. <laughs> Are you planning to stay long in the UK? Um, probably another week or so, not, not too much longer. Uh, Alex has got to be back at work, so we've got to be back by the end of August and that's also when our travel insurance expires. Um, so yeah, that's by the time, I mean it all depends as well, like you know Switzerland have imposed a, a quarantine and stuff, so it, it kind of all depends um, what happens. If you turn your camera around I'll take a picture of you with Brum. When I get there I'll, uh, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll have my mask on, be like a little mask selfie with Brum. <laughs> I think Brum's in here. I think this is why everyone's kind of, uh, I think why everyone's kind of slowing down by this bit. <laughs> I'm a 51 model. <laughs> nice pub on the right, about 400 metres. Oh, there's some nice pubs in there, Bort, isn't there? Some nice places uh, in the Cotswolds to travel up. Monte Carlo, we were there just, what, two weeks ago. Let time fly, I can't believe it's already been that long. <laughs> Motorcycle football. There you go. Played between 1927 and 1950. <laughs> Brum, what TV show was it in? The show was called Brum. Christ, 90s, I'm a 70s babe, but I remember Brum, maybe a Midlands thing. Yeah, maybe. Was it Birmingham we used to go around? Genuine question. Don't people on a nice day out ever get fed up with you filming and chatting on your phone? Like who? Who's going to get fed up? Don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Why would somebody get fed up? They're not in it. I'm in 1951 holiday. <laughs> My husband would have a field day there. I don't know what you mean by genuine question. Don't people get fed up? Nobody even notices. Isn't it any different to me probably standing next to Alex and having a chat? People don't even look. Well, sometimes people do look and then see that I'm on my phone and they just carry on moving. Do you stare at people when they're on their phone? Don't know. Bizarre. <laughs> I'm not sure how it would bother somebody. If anything, we have people saying, oh, are you doing a video? Can I be in it? And uh, we say yes, <laughs> if they're there. Or people will go afterwards, was you just on a video? And we say, yeah, and they go, oh, that was cool. What do you put it on? And we say, YouTube. And they go, oh, I'll have to look out for it. And that's about as much as it gets. <laughs> it's not like I'm going up to people and forcing them to be on the camera. That way, maybe, yes, people would get annoyed. Or like I would be talking loud and shouting, then maybe people would. But people over there are talking louder to their family than I'm talking to the phone. <laughs> Good morning, Lauren, Alex and Rio. That's like Beamish, also in Durham, lovely. Oh, it's starting to rain now. <laughs> Brum. Lauren Alex, you do such an amazing job in all these lovely places. Oh, thanks, Claire. That always reminds me. What was that um, program? I meant the people in the museum. As I said, it was a genuine question. I, I mean, I don't understand. That's what I mean. What do you mean, people? Because nobody in the museum is anywhere near me to even hear me. <laughs> Never been, but lovely to see. The reason you don't get fed up is because you're a chatty person and there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks, Ryan. That's it, people, people talk and people talk among themselves. So I don't think it's any different. If anybody ever asked me to stop, I absolutely would. Like, there's no way that I'd come out like, no, I'm videoing. Because it's not like we're paid to do this or anything like that. It's not like it's my job. <laughs> if somebody said, you know, you're bothering me, turn it off, I would. Uh, your videos are great and good to watch. Thanks, Graham. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, I'm getting a bit excited to see Brum, you know. Don't that go through you? <laughs> Why is there a blacksmith in a motor museum? The little red sidecar reminds me of Noddy. That's the one. 
It's a shame you can't have a ride in Brum. It was on CITV in the 90s as well as Zaff and Art Attack. Yo, I used to love Art Attack. Are you having a paddle in the stream? Oh, I definitely won't. <laughs> they probably think you're on the phone to someone. Exactly. People are always FaceTiming each other and things now, aren't they? And so I don't even think people even realise. <laughs> I love your videos and it feel like I'm there with you, so I enjoy them. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lauren, for taking us back in time. Love it, memories. Aw, oh, it's nice to see, isn't it? <laughs> you can sit on this couch. <laughs> it's the only time you'll get to sit on a cow. <laughs> oh, I should have had a sit down on him, shouldn't I? <laughs> Albert the horse. I'm the last in a long line of horses used to pull horse and carriages through the Cotswolds. It was hard work, especially pulling heavy loads. Love this place. Thank you for everything you do to give us happiness. Oh, thanks, Paul. Our pleasure. I'm glad it was the right member. There's also another one, isn't there? I think it was, was it Wacky, Wacky Races? It might have been that one. I think they had it as well, didn't they? Them uh, sidecars. Hey, there's the bulldog. If there are no dogs allowed, it could be a guide dog. <laughs> I did look at what, um, like, therapy dogs, if they're allowed in place and things. Um, but, yeah, apparently they have the same rules as um, normal dogs. Is that the word? Blacksmith, because cars are horsepower long. <laughs> Afternoon, Lauren, Alex and Rhea. Looks fantastic. We'll have to visit. Aww. You know what? I think this might have been the first time I've visited. I must have just seen... I think I've seen Broom around the back, maybe. Oh, I definitely have seen Broome. Maybe I just didn't remember any of this bit. Boys on the Water, have you been to see Broome yet? That's where we're going, Karen. We're on our way to see him. Just kind of uh, keeping the distance from people on the way and taking a look around first. Yeah, it's 6 50 to come in here. Um, I don't know if it's cheaper for kids. I assume it is. Um, but it was £6.50 for me to come in. Um, but it's only card payments at the moment. Thank you for sharing this. Watching this with my son Oliver. Oh, hope you enjoyed looking at all the cars. A bit different, isn't it? Normally we're looking around Benidorm, now we're looking around cars. <laughs> oh, we do it all, don't we? We share it all together. You should get him free, giving people ideas to visit. I don't even think they realised that I was filming, to be honest. <laughs> no mask wearing in there. I've got mine. Uh, where are you? We're in the motoring museum in Bought on the Water. Uh, Bought on the Water, the motoring museum. Sorry, thanks. Hey, I like this one. What's this? Oh, it's an MG. I love watching your videos, you're great, thank you. Oh, thanks Georgina. Hoping we're gonna to get to Brum in a minute. <laughs> Seen a lot of cars, but that one, I will say that. <laughs> oh, I feel strange with that, Alex. Penelope Pit Stop was my favorite on Wacky Races. It inspired me for my first beat. Oh, I loved Penelope as well. Love that museum. I cannot sit in my garden as it's too hot. Having a coffee watching. I shall watch this again as I love where you are. Bringing back many happy memories. My cousin lives in Coventry. Oh, that's lovely. Glad it's bringing back memories, Irene. It's certainly never boring with you and Alex and Rhea. You've kept me entertained for months. Oh, thank you, Adele. Some good old cars. I do choose the wedding car. Oh, no, we're not getting back round to the wedding, are we, Anne? <laughs> King Charles fan can go anywhere by royal decree. I 100% wholeheartedly agree with that. He is allowed by the Queen. Right, did I miss Brum? <laughs> Is that Brum? No. 
Why did I miss him? Well, I have no idea if I saw him or not. Well, did I miss Brum? No idea. Or is Brum not there anymore? No idea. <laughs> I don't even know if we missed Brum. <laughs> like, I didn't see him. <laughs> Brum is yellow. Yeah, Brum's yellow, but I definitely didn't see him. <laughs> Right, shall we, uh, that's your car back to Benidorm. <laughs> oh. Boy or a girl? Dick, Dassily and Motley were brilliant. They were. Thank you. They've become my virtual friends. Oh, we are all a nice little virtual yeah. group. Right, let's, um, yeah. lift Rio up and we'll say bye. <laughs> It's all wet. <laughs> he is. It's all wet. Brum is outside. Well, I thought Brum was outside. He definitely wasn't in there. Was he not? No. Yeah. Disappointing. Yeah. But it was some nice vintage cars and uh, classic cars in there. Apparently, you can take your dog to there as well. Oh, are you kidding? That box just come out. Oh. Literally, two steps in front of you. I did not even notice. Brum is a little yellow car. Didn't see him. I didn't see him either. We, we know who Brum is. No, well, yeah, but I was like, did I miss him? Because I forgot what he looked like. Like I went up to a red car, I was like, is this Brum? Because <laughs> once we were- Because you got so far and not seen it. Yeah, and I thought, well, maybe he's like, <laughs> look at Rio, just chilling. Right, oh. that was, it was a good museum, but I didn't see Brum. <laughs> right, we'll see you later. Have um, a good one, everyone. Have a good day. And we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Who knows where? Who knows where? Bye. Later, bye. Bye. How can I send you a question? Uh, you can email me um, or on Instagram. My my emails are open on there. So if you go on Instagram.com forward slash Spain with Lauren, you can send me a message there, or you can send me an email at Diary of a Spanglish Girl at gmail.com. So that's how you can get in touch with me if you don't want to put it in a comment. Um, <laughs> see you later, Mum. I'll catch you. Uh, see you in a bit. <laughs> Maybe he's off on an adventure. Maybe. Who knows where he's gone? It's disappeared. He's had lockdown, so he's needed to get out. Yeah, he's gone for a drive. You know, know what Brum's like. Maybe we'll see him driving around, but yeah. or something. <laughs> there you go. Right. See you later. Catch you later, everyone. Bye.